A woman who disappeared from Indianapolis more than 30 years ago has recently been identified in Tennessee. And her death is part of a homicide investigation now. News 8's Eric Feldman has the latest on what's going on here. Eric. Yeah, so the Campbell County Sheriff's Office in Tennessee, they found the body back in New Year's Day of 1985, actually, but it wasn't until last month that she remained Jane Doe, and a private investigator we talked to says the way law enforcement could figure it out is a tool helping them more on these missing persons cases. For more than 30 years, her family wondered what happened. Where did Tina Marie McKinney Farmer go? Family on Facebook say missing as of 1984, the west side of Indianapolis, never to be seen again. But last month, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation figured out she was more than 300 miles south. Her body was along the side of Interstate 75. Until last month, she had been Jane Doe, found January 1st, 1985. What changed? A blog post about Tina that matched the description of Jane Doe, and a fingerprint showed an exact match. It is rare. Um, it is rare. Tom Loth is a private investigator who helps search for missing people nationwide. He did not work on this case, but he says the internet, spreading, sharing, shining a light on cases decades old, can help, like in Tennessee. Law enforcement tends to reach out to these different entities to be able to resolve their cases beyond. Uh, just uh, their normal uh, uh, means of gaining information. Tina has family that still lives in central Indiana but didn't want to talk. We asked Loth about the pain families like Tina's are going through. A lot of the emotion, it, it brings families back together, really, because uh, some family members will um, disconnect from each other uh, after the, the search uh, goes, goes cold. But this case is not over. IMPD is working with TBI now because they're looking for more information. This is considered a homicide, and whoever left Tina on the side of the highway could still be out there. So if you think you may know anything about this case or about Tina, we have that information on our website, wishtv.com. You're going to need to get a hold of the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8.